Welcome to the last video in this quick estimate series. Um, today we're going to be talking about totals and uh, how to utilize them and some extra added bonus features that I've got for you. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to bring open my panel and pull totals out onto the canvas. Um, you'll notice a few new features in here from my past videos of quick estimates. So. We'll kind of go over each one of those and how they work for you. Let's get started. Oh, sorry. Uh, the first feature is to be able to round up to the nearest whole number, which you've already seen. But now you can also have this unchecked and have your numbers be a specific value, including two decimal places. So let's go ahead and leave that unchecked for now. And we're going to add this value into the text box on the web page, which is going to add it into this box here. And this is for a pretext. So if you wanted to have a dollar sign or a word, you could actually do that. So let's go ahead and say yes. And a dollar sign. That's great. And you'll notice it populates in here um, with an Arial font, and it's just black, and it's a default size. For most of your web design, I don't think that's going to work. So we're going to want to change this and style it. So let's go ahead and bring this down here. I'm going to make it as tall as this toggle to the left. And we'll line it up there, and we'll stretch it out here. Now, as the totals populate, as you select your different toggles and numbers and all that, the total will populate off here to the right. If your box is too small and your total wraps, it will wrap underneath. All you need to do is increase the size of the box. So that's good. Let's go ahead and style it. And I'm going to choose a color. And I'm going up here in the, to the text panel. We want our blue that we've been using. I'm going to give it a crazy font because this design is so pleasing. As my computer goes, oh, we'll do Daniel, that's fine. And you can also increase the size of the font. As you'll notice, you see this wrapping down here already. Now the total would actually be at the bottom. In our case, we want to kind of have it all in one line, so we're going to have to increase the size of that. So I chose 48. I'm going to go a little smaller. I'm going to do 30. That looks great. And I'm going to just shrink that up and shrink this up a little bit. Okay. So if that looks good for your design, go ahead and preview this in browser and take a look and see what we've got here. And you notice now it has the two decimal places. Let's go ahead and go back into the panels and see what other options we have available. So we have this new option here where you can actually add the value into um, an Adobe Muse email form. Let's go ahead and add that. And we don't have a graphic style yet, so we'll put that in in a minute. Let's go ahead and pull out from our widgets a simple contact form. Now this will work with both the simple contact or the detail, depending on what you're looking to do. So now that we have that on the canvas, I'm going to go ahead and go to the options and add a single line text. And we'll name this estimate total. And what I suggest is actually removing the text that's in this box, because this is where this total will actually populate within your email form. So let's go ahead and give this particular element of the form a uh, graphic style. So we're going to go in here. Actually, one last thing. We need to turn off Edit All. Uh, by default, um, email forms come in with Edit All on, or Edit Together, I should say. We're going to want to check that off. Because if I give this a style name, it will give a style name to all of these elements. And then your total is going to populate in each one of these fields. And you don't want that, more than likely. 
Um, so let's go ahead and go to graphic style. We're going to add a new one. I'm going to call this uh, email total. So now we have a graphic style for this particular element that's called email total. So we're going to go back to our totals module and within this field here we will enter in that, that name. So let's go ahead and preview this to the browser. As you can see, the total is actually totaling up within your estimate total. So now when the client is ready to send you the estimate and say, hey, I want this work done, um, you can easily answer them and kind of start the, the conversation that way. So one other um, quick tip, um, sometimes you may not want them to see the total on the screen. Let's go ahead and go in here and we're going to remove the pretext and we're going to uncheck the value here. So this is just leaving the value going into the email form. So if we go ahead and preview this to browser, you'll notice the text box disappears, but our totals still total up into the email form. So I think that's kind of a neat feature. So my last little tip revolves around situations where you would not want the website visitor to know the total. To easily mask that, there's a, an option in here. Make the value invisible. So let's go ahead and go through that scenario. Um, I'm going to remove the pretext first. We'll remove that. So now this value won't show up in here. We still want it on the email form, so that's all going to remain the same. But we're going to go ahead and check this box right here. So now if we go ahead and preview this to browser, you'll notice this the box completely disappears. So as they're toggling through, the totals are actually totaling up into um, a hidden panel. And when they submit the email form, that, actual, that total will go to your email box. Um, it's really neat, especially if you don't want your... Uh, your prices to be out there on the internet and some people don't so it does give you some options there so now I have this published as a live site on my domain um, I'm gonna go ahead and make a few toggle adjustments and again I have display as none but this will give you an idea of what you're gonna receive when you get your email and I'm going to go ahead and submit. You'll see the form has been received and if you go to your email you'll uh, receive this email so let's go ahead and do that. So I've opened up my email and this is the form that I've received from what we had just submitted. And this gives us all of the pertinent information that we need from our clients or website visitors um, including name and email, message, and now quick estimates total. So I think this is going to be very helpful um, for Adobe Muse users. Always if you have any questions regarding quick estimate feel free to drop me a line or send me an email. My email is russ at doodaddle.com. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope you go ahead and download uh, quick estimate. It's a great tool. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.